NASA is going back to Mars. The, the space agency is launching a new spacecraft, the MAVEN spacecraft, and uh, uh, the goal is to explore just the history of Mars' atmosphere. Where did it go? Where is the water? And with us today is NASA Administrator Charles Bolden. Uh, General Bolden, thanks so much for, for being here with us. Tarek, very good to be with you. Thank you. Well, uh, first of all, just to start off, uh, tell us about this MAVEN mission. What, what is the major goal? And, and how will it look into this mystery of Mars's uh, atmosphere? Uh, as Bruce Joukowsky, the principal investigator from the University of Colorado, tells me, uh, the major goal of, uh, of MAVEN is to measure as much as we can about Mars's upper atmosphere uh, so that he and his, his counterparts can begin to try to put the pieces together to figure out what happened to Mars's atmosphere over time. Uh, did the sun, solar wind scrape it away from the planet? Uh, and if so, is there any hope that that will be reversed and it will be able to restore some of its atmosphere? Or, and, and feeding that data to Earth scientists, uh, what is the, what's the story there in terms of the potential future impact to Earth? One of our readers, uh, Abhishek Pujashi, asked this, uh, how, how will this mission, uh, if at all, kind of help NASA's goal of sending uh, a manned mission to Mars in the 2030s? Abhishek, MAVEN, like curiosity, like opportunity, like insight to come and Mars 2020, they're all progressions uh, toward our ability to send humans to Mars in the 2030s. The more we can learn about the planet, the better we can understand its environment, particularly its atmosphere, because the spacecraft uh, has to descend through the Martian atmosphere to the surface. And we're going to have a big, heavy spacecraft when we send humans in the 2030s. So we need to understand it as well as we can, so we can help to design the landing mechanisms and the like. So uh, all of this is, is part of the progression towards sending humans there. Good. Now, we know that uh, uh, India uh, just launched a mission this month to, uh, uh, to Mars. And, uh, and, and it's hard to get to Mars, just you know, by the numbers. <laughs> Very hard. Yeah. Um, can you tell us about the, just the risk in general and, and uh, how NASA has learned uh, over the last nine orbiter missions, the mm -hmm. last uh, you know, uh, five decades to, to get the spacecraft to Mars? Tarek, it, it's very important for particularly Americans to understand that, you know, we're unique in that we are the only nation in the world that has ever successfully landed something on the planet, on Mars. And um, the Indians are our partners there. We're, we're collaborating with them. We're providing them assistance in communications and navigations for the Mars Orbiter mission that launched several weeks ago. But as, as they found even, you know, it's very difficult, as you said, to get to Mars. Um, the Indians have chosen a method where they're uh, doing a number of orbits of Earth over a period of time toward the end of this month where they'll gradually raise their orbit until they get the speed and the, and the altitude necessary to boo, break away from Earth's gravity and start their trek to Mars. Interestingly, Bruce Joukowsky and the team were telling me yesterday because we're launching MAVEN this afternoon and sending it on a direct trajectory to Mars, it will actually, although it's launching several weeks after MOM, uh, it will actually get there before it because it's going gonna, it's gonna to go on a direct route and doesn't have to do the, the orbital uh, orbits of Earth to get, get energy to go to Mars. Thanks so much. I think I have one last question. This one from our reader, Leela Zucker. Um, and, and she wants to know uh, just how, uh, how, how will she be able to see the, the data that comes back from MAVEN. How is it going to be released? Oh. And when should she expect to look for the pictures? The best way to, to get data on, on MAVEN is to start with the NASA website, www.nasa.gov. And we have lots of drop downs. If you go to the very top of the website, you'll see something that says missions. And if you just drop down that, that, uh, that box, usually it will have International Space Station, MAVEN, uh, Curiosity, and you can then click on the mission that you're interested in, and you'll get an update daily as it's making its 10-month trek to Mars. Once it gets there, um, you know, I'm going I'm to ask you all to ask Bruce Joukowsky and the team this afternoon post-launch when they talk about how they're going to get the data out to the general public, because I, I do know that there was a process to put it into the public domain. I don't know the particulars of it, and I don't want to mislead anyone. So I would say that's a great question to ask Bruce Joukowsky this afternoon. Well, thanks so much, uh, General. Think about uh, just out of time. We appreciate your time today, and all the best uh, for the mission. Tark, thank you very much. Space.com.